Oké, okay, dan heb je die vrouwessels ook voor jullie huiswerk gegeven van oefening 15 af. I'm quickly going to mark that. She gave you guys 1.1 and 1.2 to do. And the important thing for 1.1 and 1.2 is to just check out where the energy is. Okay, so by 1.1 it is CSL4 plus 2F2. I'm not concerned with that too much. I'm only going to focus on the fact that it has energy on the right hand side. Meaning that Energy is a product. In omat energy a product is beteken dat dit wordt vrijgesteld. So energy is released, meaning that this will be an exothermic reaction. In punt 2 het ons CL F3 plus die energie geef vir jou CL plus 3F maar weer eens gee ons die omdaad waar jy ons kyk net na waar die energie geluis is so you will see the energy is a reactant so dit beteken energie word opgeneem and therefore it must be an endothermic reaction. Ok, dan het die vrouw Wessels ook vir julle 2.1 en 2.3 gegeen om te doen. And for those you need to use the formula that says delta H you get by saying energy absorbed um, that is op die vorige bladse op bladse 2 en 6 minus energy released en dan gaan jy kyk as Delta H groter is as 0, beteken het is endothermies. En as delta H kleiner is as 0, beteken het is exothermies. Ok, so that's what we're looking at now. So we're going to say for 2.1, we say delta H is 350 minus... 420, which gives you negative 70 kilojoules per mole. And because it's a negative, that means it's exothermic. And for 2.3, gaan ons precies die sale som doen. Delta H is 311 minus 211, wat vir jou 100 kilojoules gee. wat beteken dit is endothermies. Why? Because this one is bigger than zero. Ok, goed. Dan kom ons by vraag 3. Um, so we had to start off by writing the, first writing down the names or the formulas of the, um, of the different molecules and then we have to balance it. So for 3.1, they said you have ammonium carbonate and it produces ammonia, carbon dioxide and water. Now, ammonium carbonate, you have to go back to your polyatomic ions. So, uh, I is NO4 plus, but verband met CO3, 2 minus. So, in other words, this one goes in a bracket. And this on the other hand is a bit more Hulle het hier dit gevra nie, maar as hulle vir dit vir jou sal vra, is hier die definitieve ontbindingsreaksie, die composition reaction, because as you can see, it goes from one big molecule to three smaller molecules. Ok, so kom ons balanceer gegaan hierdie. Ek gaan begin door te kyk na die stikstoffe. Voor 
we're looking at the nitrogens, then you have two here. And you only have one here. So I'm putting a two in front there. Then I take two and two here. As I can kijk naar die koolstoffen, dan het ik één hier zo en één hier die kant, so hij is gebalanceerd van nou. As ik gaan kijk naar die sierstoffen, ja, sierstoffen is die makkelijkste om nou te balanceren. Then I have three here, and on this side I have these two and one more, so I have three of them as well. And then the last thing that we have to balance will be the hydrogens. And of that, I have eight on this side. And I also have eight on this side. But you have two mol with three, what six is, and that you have two. So then it's balanced. Okay, we have two days of work. Okay. Then, by 3.2, the cell of your hydrogen and fluorine form hydrogen chloride. So, this is the same as what you have done in the previous video. It is easy to write, easy to balance. To balance it. There we go. And you simply put a two there in front. Easy. By 3.3, cell of you is natrium chloride. Form natrium and chlorine. So, we are going to say NaCl. And we know it's one to one because it's Na plus Cl minus. So, I have to one to one. And this is a decomposition reaction. But now you have to remember that this one is a diatomic gas. Okay, so all my day two is gaan ik hier voor aan het twee gaan zet, because now my chlorines are balanced, and then I simply have to go and balance my sodiums as well. Then for 3.4, they would normally give you the charge of the silver as well, but silver nitrate is something that we use quite often. Um, so you guys can expect that one to come up. So you would be at this R here in O3. So in this case, silver would have had a positive one charge. And sodium chloride. And they react to form silver chloride and sodium nitrate. Good. And so as I do, so as I balance here. So remember, especially when you're looking at polyatomic ions, you can often balance them together. So then you don't have to split this one up into one nitrogen and three oxygens one nitrogen and three oxygens because it's represented exactly the same on both sides of the equation. So you can balance the whole group at once. Okay, as we aangaan 3.5 CLFO, it's sodium bromide forms sodium and bromine. So I said NRBR, this one balances almost exactly the same as 3.3. Want je moet onthou, broem is ook die atomies. So then I have to put a two there and a two there. And the last one was the most complicated to write down. So they gave you it's lead two nitrate, which means it's PB two plus. And nitrate, you have to know, is one minus. So to balance this one, you'll have to put this in a bracket. And you have to put a set. And this reaction with natrium you did. It looks like this to form Na NO3. And I know it's one to one because sodium is plus one. And that's minus one, so they bond one to one in what you did. And I know this has to be one to two because we already know that this had to have a positive two charge. And um Iodide has a negative one charge, so it has to bond like that. Okay, now here is a good example from what we have just talked You can balance these as a whole group and say I have two of them here, so I'm going to put a two here in front. 
Så ju finna inte kan inte säga en stök stof, en stök stof och så ni. Jag kan le så som obrek. Okej, okay, then when we look at the leds, those are balanced. However, the sodiums are not balanced. So I put a two there in front. And then the rest of them are perfectly balanced. Okej. Grot 11. Ek gaan vir julle huiswerk op julle groep post wat julle kan doen uit die examen oefeninge uit. En dan sal ons volgende week aangaan. Ons skiep oor die volgende eenheid, oor die oplossing en waterige oplossings. And then we just go on to the next unit, which is the last unit. Thank you.